Hello there. As if the woes of the southern EU states weren't enough for Brussels, we now have a Finnish MEP laying into the Eurozone. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost and I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. After Italy getting royally shafted and the Germans looking forward to a 42% uplift in their EU contributions, we now have indications that things aren't all hunky-dory where the EU northern member states are concerned. During an EU Parliament Brexit debate, the Finnish MEP, Laura Hutasari, gave the Eurocrats a bit of a broadside when she said, I would like to congratulate Great Britain, they just saved around 80 billion euros. Soon, no one in Britain will even dare to admit voting against Brexit. Well, on the first one of 80 billion euros, with the new amounts the EU is asking the likes of Germany to pay, then I would not argue with that figure. But on the second one, the UK still has a hard core of Europhiles who will continue their ever-dwindling battle to get back into the EU, but they will find it harder and harder to make their case. Anyway, Laura Hutasari continued saying... The European Commission proposal for a recovery fund is another step towards a centralised debt union. This proposal is illegal according to Article 125. The Commission also wants the EU's own sources of taxation passed in the member states. In the EU, a large part of its economic problems would be reduced if the monetary union of the euro was dismantled. According to a study, Finnish exports would be 40% higher in their own currency. I want my money back. And as far as I can make out, she's right about this EU salami slicing of the rules to get towards centralised EU banking union, which, by the way, is a dream of one Guy Verhofstadt. And that what they're doing does go against certain EU rules. But because the ECJ is all-powerful, it can rule the unlawful into law. Now on to this study of Finland, the euro and the country's previous currency, the marker, spelt M-A-R-K-K-A. This, I think, is in reference to the results of a study by GNS Economics which simulated the potential development of the export of Finland if we had remained in our own currency marker. And the abstract to the report said, The membership of Finland in the Eurozone has been described either as a great success or as a complete failure. However, no rigorous analysis on the benefits and costs of the Eurozone to Finland is available. In this report, we analyse what would have been the economic consequences if Finland had never joined the euro area. And in its conclusions, it says that According to our analysis, euro area membership has not led to major economic benefits or costs for Finland. Seems a bit of a waste of time and energy then, doesn't it? But on its website, GNS Economics says that it has updated the simulations they used in the report and that our updated simulations draw a very straightforward picture. According to them, our export would have been more than 40% higher in quarter 1 2020 if we had remained in marker. As someone will no doubt point out to me in the comments section, these are economic models, the same sort of thing that Brexiteers like myself questioned heavily in the lead-up to the 2016 EU referendum. So make of it what you will. But it could be food for a fin exit. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about the Finnish position? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. 
and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.